Yes. Uh, uh, other questions? Matthew? Sure. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Thanks for doing this. I wanted to, to this $100 billion figure, um, I guess I just want to ask you kind of in a, in a, in a general way, is it, are, what are the limitations? How is it defined? What counts toward it? And, and, and uh, I mean, yesterday I was asking Christina Figueres about coal, and she seemed pretty, pretty she said there's no place for it in the future mm -hmm. uh, with some qualifications. What kind of coal projects could count toward this, for example, $100 billion? And I also, there's, I've been wanting to ask, I tried it another way. I view you as kind of a UN environmental focal point. So, so I want to. I just wanted you to hear the question because I want to get your answer. Yeah, and the answer okay. is it's, it's very, it might seem beneath you, but on, in this building, there are garbage cans that say that they are recycling. They have a hole that says waste, they have a hole that says glass, they have a hole that says paper, and actually if you look at them, it's just a single bag inside. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know, I asked in this room, nothing has, cha has changed. Do you think this is appropriate for the UN to be mm -hmm. essentially conducting scam recycling? given, you know, its, its, its other statements on, on serious mm -hmm. environmental issues. Thanks. So I'm, I'm not aware of the, the kind of recycling that you, you talk about, but I, I am aware and I was member of the, the high-level committee here in the, the Secretariat that is uh, trying to bring in uh, across the board uh, more sustainable practices uh, in the house uh, in terms of climate neutrality, but also in terms of the environmental management of the of, of all the activities in the Secretariat and in the United Nations offices overall. So this is clearly a, a policy of the organization to move forward. There are, uh, and I, I cannot address this particular issue that you've raised, and but I know that there are still things that have to be done, but that is the purpose of this committee to try to make them happen. So uh, let's all contribute and make them happen. Let's go to the third floor yeah. as soon as we're done. Yeah, okay. So uh, the in terms of the 100 billion and, and all those other, other issues, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what what uh, what I can say but look each there there first of all money has been provided there is a there has been and there will continue to be some debate how much of the hundred billion uh, where we are now uh, the OECD report says 62 others said less others said more uh, now what will happen is that this will be looked at within the UNFCCC framework by a, a committee that was created for the, that that has been in place for that purpose so there may be less uh, uh, less discussion about the level in the future because there will be better understanding uh, in terms of what kind of projects will fit uh, you know as you know the hundred billion does not go into one place the hundred billion goes into bilateral but also uh, different multilateral uh, institutions such as the green climate fund such as other facilities and each of those uh, funding uh, mechanisms have a certain set of criteria on what kind of projects they will fund and how. So that will be addressed within the Green Climate Fund, it will be addressed within the World Bank, it will be addressed in other places, and uh, uh, that's how we will see what kind of projects uh, will, will fit in. Just, and just, um, I should have been clearer, is, is, I mean, do market rate loans, just straight up market rate loans, some of which will, will end up benefiting the donor, the, you know, the country making it, do they count, and how much of the hundred billion would you expect to be kind of public contribution or, or you know, direct? These look. These are things that have been discussed for a long time. It was very clear from the very beginning when the hundred billion came up that it will be from all sources. Okay, it has never been defined whether it should be zero, one percent versus ninety-nine public-private, or whether it should be ninety-nine to one public. So you know, this is a, a debate that we can have for a very long time. And it is very clear that a, a good part of that, in any case, is public money and that we leverage some private resources and that's the way it's going to go. 